morning party people. What have you got? I can see your no. stupid little face. <laughs> As I walked over, I was like, oh, Johnny's thought of a thing. No, because I wanted to do the defeating gravity, but I realised there's already been one where I started going, ugh, 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 like trying to fight gravity and keep myself down. And, you know, I want to keep it kind of, you know, mature and kind of professional for our friends in Future Powers. So what are you going to do instead? <laughs> I don't know. I've got no pants on. So. That is true. He does have it all hanging out. <laughs> hey, welcome to The Breakdown. With Nathan Johnny. Thanks for coming back. Uh, we're checking out another from Future Palace. Defeating Gravity. Man, we love this band. Absolutely blew us away the first time we heard them and have continued to blow us away since. Just crazy they're a three-piece. Right? Just so many talented three-piece in the world and these guys are just doing it. Also, one of our favourite vocalists going around right now. Oh, yeah. She's fantastic. Mm. Uh, we were lucky enough to have her join us on the channel for a little chat. So if you haven't seen that, go and check it out. She was an absolute dream to hang out with and chat to. Very, very funny. Very cool. Very talented. Everything um, we're not. Yes, exactly. So we're just going to jump in and check this one out because we're super excited. You guys are going to like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Make sure you hit the notifications bell because... What if they have already subscribed? What do they do then? They say, stop asking me that, dude. You're a fuckwit. As if I wouldn't have subscribed to your channel because you guys are great and I'm glad to be here. And to them, I say, fair point. I was just checking. Okay, cool. If you guys want, we've got merch and stuff too. Oh, yeah. We have this tank. Uh, it comes in other colours, but I put the yellow as the display picture for some stupid reason. No one was a yellow tank. Don't know why I did that. It would be terrible in a war. <laughs> why does the colour matter? Because the yellow tank would just stand out. It's like, oh, cool, there's the target. Do you think tanks don't already stand out? Yeah, so why camouflage them anyway? Well, I guess that's just the colour of the... Yeah. I don't know. The colour of the what? The colour of the surroundings. <laughs> the that's metal. camouflage. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> oh boy, sometimes... Show me a yellow tank. I want to see a yellow tank. I can make that happen. Okay. I throw two words! Is that the... Huge vocals there. Yeah, always. Like, she's just absolutely. Yeah, always, insane. but sometimes they're more beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, There is a level of grit there that we haven't seen too much of in the clean vocals. Yeah, not she goes straight to the heavy, heavy, and there's a really nice juxtaposition between them. But that there. It's a bit uh, of a transition between the two on this. Yeah, a bit of a. Like a stepping stone. Oh, we love a big. stepping stone. Also, I was going to say before, that guitar, like, it's not, but. It looks very much like the Murder Axe, the Dan Sugarman Ice Nine Kills guitar. Yeah, and I really wanted to get one of those and I didn't. Just with like the blood splatter and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Oh! Hell yes, get it. 
Oh, that is a rip. <laughs> that little riff change in there. Oh, dude. That was tasty. That little everything in there. That was so good. This drummer is fucking phenomenal as well. He's the band's like, phenomenal. His fill placement is so cool and so tasteful. Phil Collins goes in yeah, here. Dr. Phil goes over there. Yeah. Uh, and he just places them so nicely. <laughs> uh, I really like just the simplicity of the setting too with the balloons. All just like at different heights and stuff all around them. Yeah, but like also it just... Them again, just showing how clever they are with their like artistic approach and the vibe of their music mm, videos. The pedals, dude, they look so uncomfortable to me. That makes me very uncomfortable. Yeah. Same. Half time that. It's a nice little touch as well. That little sink line there. It's cool. I have a question for you. I have an answer for you. Yes! Cool. And, um... Got any other questions? I do. Cool. Give me. Do you think those balloons were props or do you think they were actual balloons? The reason I asked... They didn't move? They didn't move. I was thinking that too. Or maybe they were put in in post-production or... Or... They were very careful with the way they moved. I don't know. I was actually thinking that. Or like, okay, cool. were they strings and then fishing wire attached to the top or something to keep them in place? So they wouldn't like... Or were they not actually strings? It was like, I guess like kind of steel rod, but very thin. And then like the balloon was still blown up and on top. So it looked like they were floating, but they weren't. Excuse me, Future Palace. Can you please tell us how you did that? We would really like to know. Thank you. We do love asking questions about their music videos. Um, yeah. yeah. We, we often get interesting answers. Well, that's because they do cool shit. They do do cool shit. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that was look, wicked. That was great. Fantastic. This, look, I know this band gets a lot of the whole, like, spirit box comparisons because of... You? Yeah. <laughs> Continuously saying Spirit it. box um, No because of the The vocal stylings And the heaviness Sort of thing But Man I love spirit box But I I enjoy this band more I think she has Greater versatility In As you said The steps She has that full Register there That they actually Utilise in their songs And there also is Like each song Has been very different Yeah That yeah. was a different vibe To the last one Between the last one Before that So yeah. And I like the fact that they've dropped very different uh, singles, but like obviously every song sounds like them, but I like how they're showing off everything that they've sort of got in their wheelhouse without giving away too much. But it's just like, because if you're a band and you, if, if you dropped like, you know, Heads Up first or just um, Paradise first or whatever, and that was it. You would go into the album with a strong sense of what you think it's going to sound like. And yeah. a lot of these other tracks would throw you. Sometimes that can be a good thing. Sometimes it can be a bad thing. But I think they've done really well in, in releasing singles that show a little bit of everything that they do. I think this is probably going to be the last single that comes out before the debut album run. Or well, sophomore, not debut. The sophomore. second album. Yeah. June 10, I believe. Yes. yes. Uh, we will attempt to have another chat with the band on around that time when they release the album. On and around. If they if they want to come back on. What did you guys think of that? Did you enjoy that single? And are you excited for the album? I think this is a very highly anticipated album for Johnny and I. So hopefully you guys are pumped for it too. Very much so. And if you didn't like that and if you're not excited for the album, um, reach out to us. We do have the numbers of some organisations that can help find out why you're so broken and why you don't like things that are really fun. It's just Johnny yelling at you repeatedly. It's his organisation. <laughs> That's my suck. It's called just... Johnny Cares. <laughs> You're a dickhead! Yeah. All right. You should go to that. Uh, to my own lessons. You in the mirror. Just in the air going, You're a fucking idiot. Well, you're absolutely right either way. We'll see you guys next time. Success.